Welcome back everybody. In today's video, I want to ask you a question. Why is it that a lot of frauditors seem to have horrible crimes against children on their record? And today, we're going to find another frauditor who falls in that category, and it's none other than NorCal Copwatch. Now, let's start from the beginning. Recently, NorCal Copwatch was arrested for being a felon in possession of pepper spray after he got completely demolished by a citizen at the library. I mean, he was on the floor getting pounded. It was a bloodbath. It was so brutal that his buddy blurred most of the fight, and you really couldn't see that much, but you could see that he was getting absolutely annihilated. Of course, the coward cannot get into hand-in-hand -in -hand combat. He's a frauditor, so he must have used his pepper spray. And that's when the cops arrested him. See, that set off a chain of events because he then made a fundraiser where he was begging for $7,000. It was really pathetic. He even put his hands together as he was pleading for money. And he outed himself as George Costell. And he said that he also had felonies. And on the ride back from jail, he had this to say. So I just want to give you guys an update. Um, doctors at the emergency room. I sat there for about three hours. Uh, they took my blood pressure a couple times. They didn't give me anything for, you know, the pain or anything like that. I sat there with my hands handcuffed behind me for three hours. Shoulders are totally killing me, you know, totally just uncalled for. Like they could have handcuffed me to like something and released the pressure, but they didn't. Um, and, you know, as I was there, they were, you know, trying to ask questions and all this stuff. And I told them, I said, hey, I don't want to answer any questions. So I speak to my lawyer. Then they did the whole cop switch. Another cop comes in and then he's all asking questions, you know, so they're trying to incriminate me, um, you know, but uh, one thing that I was unclear on with the, with the law was that a felon cannot possess pepper spray. And I do have a conviction on my record from, I believe 2005, assault with a deadly weapon. It was so long ago, you know, um, Ah, yes, the assault with a deadly weapon charge from 2005. And as you guys can see here, he was found guilty, but it looks like there were some other charges. Here it says, lewd act upon child under the age 14. He pled not guilty and the charge was dismissed. So I guess we shouldn't hold that against him, right? Unfortunately for George Costell, that's not where it ends. There's a lot more to this story. At the end of 2008 and at the beginning of 2009, Georgie Boy, at the end of 2008 and at the beginning of 2009, NorCal Copwatch was charged with seven felonies. So here are the charges. There are three counts of unlawful intercourse, and the fourth count is sexual penetration of a person under 16. The fifth count is sexual penetration of a person under 18. And count number six is oral copulation of a minor under 16. And count seven is oral copulation of a minor under the age 16. So these are very serious felonies. Let's look at what happened and how the cases went. So for count one, he pled not guilty initially, but a month later, he decided to plead no contest which will have the same impact as a guilty verdict, but it cannot be used against him in civil court. He pled not guilty for the other charges, except count five, where he eventually pled no contest as well. So because he pled no contest to charge one and five, he was found guilty in court. The other charges were dismissed. Now, he is not a registered offender, I'm not too sure why. Maybe it was part of his deal with the government. He says, I'm going to plead no contest if you guys don't put me on the registry. But at the moment, he is not a registered offender. I just want to make that clear. But that doesn't erase the fact that he was found guilty of sexual penetration of a person under the age of 18. And he was also found guilty of unlawful sexual intercourse. So it looks like he forgot to mention that when he was making his video. I wonder why. 
Another felony that he forgot to mention is his second degree commercial burglary, kind of like what frauded Wrangler did, except Wrangler had five counts where this guy only has one count. And he pled not guilty, then he switched his plea to no contest, and once again, he was found guilty in a court of law. Now recently, NorCal Copwatch was flexing on how he took down a video through an illegal copyright strike, an abuse of the copyright system. So I'm sure he's going to try to take down this video as well. Also, he did a privacy complaint against the first channel who exposed this weirdo, Navin's Drive-In Theater. So he's really trying to hide the facts that he has all these convictions of crimes against minors. It's really not looking good. But as you guys know, this is nothing new. Frauditors always try to hide the truth. They try to hide their past. And today, it's all coming to light. Next, I want to show you a clip of Central Tyrant Investigations. This guy is pretty much like the village idiot. He's trying to be the Tyrant Terminator if you order it on Wish. And basically, he got arrested. And he did a little bit of an e-bagging video. And he quickly deleted it. But I was able to find it on Dr. Dave's channel, and we'll see what he has to say. This guy is extremely pathetic. What's up? What's up? Yeah, guys, uh, I was just um, arrested here at the uh, police department. Yeah, I know. Oh, no. Um, so I was recording out here in the parking lot. I was recording back there. Um, and they decided to be unprofessional, come out and arrest me. So I literally just got out of a jail cell, guys. I was in there for about an hour, not too long, but our rights were violated definitely today. I'm going to show you guys a sign here. And this sign is, uh, I don't know. It's just, uh, it doesn't seem right to me. You guys be the uh, judge. All right. So we're here at the police department. And this is a sign right here that says private property, no trespassing, uh, police employees only. Violators are subject in, uh, to arrest pursuant of, these city, of that city code there. Guys, this is a public facility. People can come in here, drive and park. So by this sign, anybody who were to come into this parking lot would be trespassing. Um, I did speak to a supervisor that came out of here and he said, yeah, same thing uh, that I just said, basically, uh, that this sign uh, doesn't seem right to me. It should be back there if they don't want people back behind the uh, building. That's where the sign should be. So, yeah, I was arrested back there and I don't know, guys, they gave me a summons. Uh, the charge was trespassing. They have a do not enter sign right there, but that is clearly a vehicle sign. Uh, that says do not enter uh, the I don't know if that was the chief that came out or if he was under the chief but he he knew that they messed up basically because he was agreeing with me but he didn't you know you know how they can't necessarily say yes and no but he was like he was shaking his head like yeah like I agree with you <laughs> so those uh couple officers that arrested me they they came out here also um, hopefully he went in there and educated them. They spoke with their legal team and I guess the legal team told them to release me from jail. So yeah, guys, uh, there is a video of this. I was here for literally two minutes, uh, before I was arrested. Yeah, guys, this, uh, this is the South Patrol Division, by the way. Can't read your guys' comments. There you go. They pick and choose who they, yeah, correct, correct, they do. I just don't understand why that sign would be there and not back there if they don't want people back behind the building. Um, because this is, it even says visitor parking right here. So by that means anybody who were to come in here would be trespassing. So you really can't make this shit up. He sees a sign, private property, no trespassing. The police employees only. And there's the city code. And somehow, he sees this as an invitation to walk right in there and start recording all the cars. What an absolute moron. No wonder he deleted this live stream because it made him look like a complete idiot. 
So I think they really messed up, guys. Really, really messed up. Uh, I will have to go to court over this. And I will see uh, have to have a lawyer. So if you guys would uh, donate to my Venmo, that would be greatly appreciated. Uh, my Venmo is in my on my uh, channel page. Uh, I'm not the richest guy at all. That's <laughs> by any means. So if you guys would like to donate to my Venmo, please do so for uh, lawyer fees. I know this won't be cheap. So, uh, yeah, guys, we're going to try to get these signs removed. And, yeah, I don't know. if They don't even have to remove them. Just relocate them to back there. It's obviously a public building. Yeah, guys, I wanted to go live. I should have gone live uh, whenever they were doing the uh, arrest, but obviously I didn't have enough time to do so. Yeah, I just don't understand how they could think that this is a private property. <laughs> yeah, well, you guys know uh, from watching other people's videos, the police don't know uh, everything. So, yeah, thank you guys for all the likes. Thank you for tuning in. We got another patrol unit pulling in there. So, yeah, this is going to be an interesting one. Uh, we're going to try to get those signs moved back uh, to the back area or even removed. This is public property and not private property. Yeah, guys. Thank you. Thank you. A uh, fun fact. What is my plan going forward? Um, obviously, I got to have a lawyer. Um, and then after that, I have complaint forms. I'm going to fill all that stuff out. And it, I mean, it's a long process, guys. You guys know that it is. And it's not an easy thing for them to just accept their mistakes and to change things right away. It's going to take some time, but I will be back. I will be back for sure. Uh, those signs need to be removed. That's for sure. I definitely have to lawyer up, though, because if you... Uh, try to fight the justice system by yourself it just never goes in favor for you um i've seen plenty of auditors and free press journalists try to do that and it, it just actually the officer it. right here that arrested me um he's in this squad unit right there i wonder if his shift just started two officers back there and i think there was a uh a detective that was back there also I, I didn't really get to see his badge um, but I mean they were all escalated from the beginning like there was no trying to speak to him calmly or anything so yeah for those of you guys that are just coming in I'm gonna show you this sign uh, when they when they released me from handcuffs they walked me over to this uh, end right here so I could be lined up with this unconstitutional sign so let me show you guys that real quick I don't know if you could see it well enough but it says private property no trespassing st. Louis police employees only but this is a public parking lot this is a public building but thank you guys for coming on in if you would guys please 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 donate to the Venmo um, I'm not going to do a GoFundMe or anything like that. But if you guys want to throw something, am I going to file a, a lawsuit? Oh, yeah. Like, I'm going to talk to uh, talk to a lawyer. I'm going to, you know, obviously get their opinion first. I don't just want to do anything without, you know, uh, having a little agreement on it, I guess. Um, obviously, I'd have a lawyer to do that for me. But yeah, guys, it's a process. I, I got to follow these complaints first. I got to show up to court and whatnot. So we'll see how that goes. And depending on how that goes, I'm going to probably file a lawsuit for sure. He's probably going to file a lawsuit for sure. Yeah, that sounds really promising. I'm sure that the lens lickers are lining up to whip out their credit cards for this one. Anyways, that's all I have for you guys today. NorCal Cop Watch has been exposed and this clown clearly doesn't believe in what he does because he deletes his live streams. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you guys on the next one. I live here!